All right, so next up we're going to think about ways that we can monetize our app. And there's two obvious ways to do this, very low friction ways to get our app into people's hands and make money every time that they use it, even if they don't pay for it. But then also for those people that really hate advertisements, we're going to allow them to upgrade to a pro version, I guess you could say, and remove the ads. All right, so um, in order to get started with this, take a look at this URL that you see on screen right now. That'll take you to the let's see here to this page uh, where you can learn more about how to add mm -hmm. ads in your apps and you can get the SDK for Windows 10 it also works for the other versions too but we're basically just going to click install the SDK that'll take us to the Visual Studio gallery where, where we can download the Windows ad mediation extension now I've already downloaded this onto my desktop and you can see it right here and the first thing you should do before running this is actually close down all of your Visual Studio instances then run this and then you can open up Visual Studio again because it is an extension into Visual Studio so I've already gone through that it's a very simple just uh, normal Windows installer nothing really all that fancy there I'm not gonna walk through it it's pretty simple not a lot of options uh, and then uh, I'm gonna create just to demonstrate how it works I'm gonna create a new project called add example I've done absolutely nothing to this uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the frame counter because I like to get rid of that as you know and the first thing that I'm gonna do and let me pull this way over to the side here so you can see this I'm gonna right click on the project and um, unfortunately it pops up off the top of the screen but I'm gonna select add connected service alright so here let me see if I can get this uh, let me try to pull this off right around like here and right click pull it down here right click select add uh, connected service like so alright and you should see the ad mediator in this list of connected services if you don't then try uh, shutting down Visual Studio reopening try rebooting try reinstalling that MSI that you just downloaded all right, I'm going to go ahead and click configure and uh, it says this extension enables plug and play of third party ad network solutions. We can select ad networks. We only have one set up for ourselves. We'll talk about ad networks in just a little bit. Uh, but I'm just going to, and if you click OK, you're going to get this little message that you couldn't add all the required references. That's just fine. Let's not worry about that. But I am going to hit um, the add and there won't be a lot that happens uh, that you can see in the project but I'll show you what really does happen here in just a moment as we move this back okay what we really accomplished with that was whenever we open up the main page.xaml and then we go once the designer loads we go to the toolbox you'll see that there are two new sections in the toolbox one called add mediator and then add mediator universal this is the one that you want just forget the first one you want the one with the universal name okay and there's an add mediator control in that section called add mediator universal you're going to drag and drop that onto your designer surface you have to drag and drop onto the designer surface not directly into your xaml like i've done in the past you get this message that this reference has been added to the project in order to use types from this new reference press OK to restart the XAML designer then recreate the control in the artboard okay so we'll do that and then I'm gonna go ahead and click build solution make sure it still builds alright and it does and now I'm gonna go back to the toolbox and I'm gonna re-add that same add mediator control by dragging and dropping it from the add mediator universal section of the toolbox onto my designer surface and this time you'll see that it adds a couple of things here let me go ahead and go up here it adds a new namespace and it adds a control that accesses that namespace and let me go ahead and just separate these on individual lines here and all right there we go so what we have is a control with a special name. You're, there, undoubtedly, the name of your control will be different than mine. And you're going to have an ID, and undoubtedly, this ID will be different than mine as well. These are just randomly generated, and these are going to be just for development purposes anyway. When you go and register your app with the store, 
as we'll show in just a moment, you're going to um, you're going to get a permanent one, and it will actually replace the, all of this for you. You won't have to worry about that process. Uh, but now that we've done that, let's go ahead and go back to what we did before by right-clicking and selecting Add uh, Connected Service. You can see it barely off in the upper right-hand corner when I did that. So we're back to the screen. And we're going to click Configure this time. And you're, you'll see this message that your project change and Add Mediator config will be updated. For more information, see the Add Mediation documentation. And it shows what will be added to your to that um, Add Mediator config file. That's great. Now you should see references are fetched. Uh, and you can click Add to that. And again, I'm going to go ahead and build the solution. All right, you have to take those exact steps or you're not going to get it to work. I've, I have found painfully, so I've spent uh, more than a day working with this. When I run the app, it takes a moment here. But if I wait for a few seconds here, you'll see a little placeholder ad for MSN pop up on my screen. So I know that I did this right. All right, so um, very cool. Now at this point, what I would need to do is to go into go into my uh, dashboard area and I'll if I haven't already done this I'm going to need to create a new um, entry for my new app and if you take a look at um, the app overview for this new app you want to make sure to uh, go to submissions and you can see that I'm currently in in, in progress in a submission and one of the first things I'm going to need to do is make a change to the app properties and I need to at a very at a minimum give it the category and the subcategory which I just selected as education instructional tools so it doesn't matter what you've chosen there but then save that and now go back to app overview and if you scroll down you'll see something for ad mediation and you should be able to start configuring ad mediation now and you can choose what ad networks that you're going to serve up and uh, you can even create Microsoft advertising ad units which is something that you're going to need to do at some point uh, whenever you go to submit your application. As you can see I've already created one ad unit name and gotten an application ID. It'll be a banner ad uh, for the PC tablet and so this will be uh, utilized inside of the settings for my app. Now let's talk about uh, the different types of ads that we can create for our application. If you take a look at that URL, that'll take you to a document in the Windows Dev Center called Select and Manage Your Ad Networks. And there's a bunch of ad networks that are partially supported by this um, uh, this ad SDK as you can see the Windows Uni Universal platform they're still the ad networks are still coming online it's mostly supported in the some of the oldest versions of the uh, the Windows Phone and Windows 8.1 uh, but at any rate you can decide to have multiple uh, ad networks and just iterate through each of the ad networks that you want to use now again only Microsoft advertising is supported currently for the Universal Windows Platform version that we're using. But if you scroll down, you can see that here's some more details about including Microsoft Advertising uh, Network into your application, and what's required, and how you get the application ID and the ad unit ID, and what they're used for, and how you can then use them inside of the, uh, the ad mediation control. Then if you take a look at the navigation on the left-hand side, it will give you another uh, article about adding and using the ad mediation control what we drag and dropped onto our designer surface and the different uh, default settings that are added and how you can configure them for uh, each of the different ad networks and how you declare the capabilities uh, for a given network inside of the ad mediator or rather the, the uh, yeah, the ad mediator that we saw a little bit ago when we clicked on ad connected services. Uh, but I think ultimately one of the most important things from this page that is a takeaway is that these are the different ad sizes that are supported for the Universal Windows platform. And so most of these are going to be square or like a three by four 
uh, sized orientation, I guess you can say, or four by three rather. But this one, this long skinny one, would be the one that I would probably use for our project because it's 728 pixels wide but 90 tall. So it would fit really nice along the bottom uh, of our application. So we're going to remember that. In fact, I'm going to open up Notepad here and type in uh, 728 and 90 because I'm going to remember that. All right, but ultimately, whenever you submit your ad to or submit your app to the App Store, it will replace um, several of the uh, the settings that were created here by default, like in this addmediator.config file. So generally, you shouldn't have to mess with this uh, if you were to configure everything correctly in the dashboard. Uh, okay, so at any rate, now that we know how to create a ad, let's go ahead and get back into our project and make sure that we add that in. So here we are back in the ab album cover match game. And what I want to do is go to the main page.xaml. Specifically, I want to go and I'm going to add one more row definition uh, at the bottom, and it's only going to be 90 tall, and that's where we're going to put the ad. Okay. So uh, we'll put it then uh, here. We'll drag and drop it out of the design surface in just a moment. So I'm going to right click my project name and select, and you unfortunately can't see this off to the top of the screen, add connected service. And the ad mediator, I'm going to select configure. I'm going to select the ad networks. Microsoft Advertising is my only choice. I'm going to click Add. Now what I want to do um, is go to mainpage.xaml and I want to view the design view for this. And I'm going to try and find that, that, that bottom area. Hopefully I can drag into it. Uh, I'm going to go to the toolbox, go to the Ad Mediator Universal section of the toolbox and drag the Ad Mediator Control into what I hope to be that third uh, third row, but I can fix that if it doesn't go there perfectly. I'm going to get that message box that the reference has been added to the project. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Build the Solution. Great. And now I'm going to go back and attempt to go to the toolbox and re-drag and drop the Ad Mediator control into that bottom area there. Now admittedly you can see that it's kind of fighting me but that's fine. At this point I have everything in there that I need and I go, go back to the XAML view and actually make the changes to it that I need to make. So here we go. Grid.row2 is the, what we needed. Perfect. I put that in there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the margins here. I'm also going to change the height of this to 90 and the width to 728. Remember that was one of the ad sizes. Uh, let's get rid of everything there and let's get rid of everything here and let's build it one more time just to be on the safe side. And I'm going to run the app and with any luck after a moment we'll see at least a sliver of that little MSN advertisement pop up. Right, and it's not popping up for me. That could be a size issue. So let me um, back out of this change. I'm just going to hit uh, Control Z and Control Z. Oh, you know what? I did forget a step. I forgot a step. After I added everything, I need to go back now and go back to add connected service, go back to the ad mediator, configure, click OK, and click add. And now I should be able to build. I knew I was forgetting something. OK. And now I'm going to change this, the height to a 90 and then the, the width to 728. That should fix that. Great. And let's go ahead and build the solution one more time because I'm paranoid about this, <laughs> clearly. And let's run the app. And hopefully we'll see a little sliver of blue down here. And we do. Great. So it's there. And if I click on it, it opens up to MSN. Perfect. All right. So that's how we can add Microsoft Advertising Microsoft advertising to our app. Now hold on a second. I just noticed something that did not look very cool. Let me make sure this is all running correctly. Hmm. 
I seem to have lost my lost something here in the process. So um, I've introduced a bug somehow. Um, hopefully it's a, hoping it's a small fix, but let me look into that as well by adding the mediator control. It seems like I lost all my album art. So let me look into that and we'll start back up in the next video.